Hi, my name's Nick Jeffries, and you're watching New Weekly, episode 27. It has been pretty stressful. We've got lots of dramas um, circulating at the moment. Lots of mega, mega good stuff, but we've got some dramas. We've got some problems we've got to get rid of. We've got some dead wood we've got to chop. We need to renegotiate the contract, which is going to be a little bit tricky. Um, prices have gone up also uh, the QS who estimated the job going back seven months ago didn't do a great job so it's Monday and it is 10 past four. I've been on it all day long. In fact, I left my house at 6 a.m. this morning and I got here at 7 a.m. It took me an hour from door to door, which is bloody good because there wasn't any cars on the road from Horndean, where I live, to Fulham. And I just parked the car up, just walked it in, simple. But um, I always find it hard if I know I've got to get up early and I set the alarm, I can have a very restless sleep because I'm always wondering when's that alarm going to go off. And guess what? I never sleep bloody anyway. So I'm, I, I woke up at 5.30, half hour before the even alarm went off. Um, and uh, I thought, you know what? I'm going to leave early, get here. There's loads to do. Got in the morning, had a cup of tea, went upstairs, opened up the new software I'm working on with monday.com and uh, just created some more uh, documents, basically checklists, which the team can share. So each project can have a, a checklist where we make about 20 different items and it's quite easy to tick them, to share them, who's ticked them, who's, who's got the party walls, who's got the, uh, the contracts for the doc, uh, for the clients and the subcontractors. So it's a really good one. It's just one place to go to with everything there. And everyone's got access on the phones, on their tablets or in their desktops. Um, and um, today I got the rangy bag. Thank God it was nice to get in the car again. Everything is being freshly valeted. It smells lovely and it drives fantastic. Apparently, the gearbox has had a complete service and they've put a new part in the hybrid system, something to do with the battery. There's a new part in there, so hopefully we get a little bit more mileage out of it. Um, estimates gone over today. Two, the Clapham job, which came in last week from the interior designer. One of those have gone out. That is for a kitchen extension, a loft conversion, a pod room, a full refurb. That's coming in at circa 260K plus the VAT. That's gone to the client. We're working upstairs on the other one, which is just like round the corner. Both need planning approvals, but the first one needs, needs stripping out first. So there's nothing really stopping us getting on site, setting up, putting the hoarding out and taking it back to the bare brick. Um, and the other one going out later on, which Guy's working on, is Mount View Court in North London. This one is the double extension with the lift going from top to bottom and the full refurb. Hopefully that's going to be finished by five o'clock because that needs to go out today. It's taken too, too long. Um, we've got a viewing booked in um, for the six and a half thousand square foot house near Watford. Um, can't remember the actual location, but it's a fantastic house. Nothing structural apart from two walls coming down, but it's going to have a complete refurb. Not to not new electrics, new plumbing, you know, just basic decoration, new flooring, sanitary, bathrooms, so on and so forth. Um, so yeah, it's been a really stressful couple of weeks. Um, lots going on. I'm sure I'll talk about it one day, but it, there's, there's, there's projects which 
we're trying to catch up on because a certain person has done something to them and we need to sort of rectify these problems uh, without those problems affecting any the other job. So running a business is bloody stressful. Um, but I've also asked the website guy Steve, if he can refresh the new project's website. It's been up and running for a year now, and basically I edit the website myself, change images, change text, change the SEO, but sometimes that can cause slight errors. So it needs a complete once over, a health check, to see what needs to be updated, what needs to be changed, are the H1, H2 tags up and running correctly. Um, so that should, by the end of the week, we should have a complete and utter uh, health check on that and it would be perfectly up and running. Even though it does look perfect and anyone putting in Luxury Builders West London, Luxury Builders Mayfair, Knightsbridge, Chelsea, Chelsea Bay, Belgravia, it's always show, showing up. So I'm gonna go back upstairs, see what the boys are up to, and uh, we will catch up later on. So that's Monday coming to a close. I'm just heading back home. Traffic has been an absolute ball lake in London today, especially round uh, Wandsworth Bridge and the roundabout going into Battersea. I don't know what was going on, but it was a gridlock for about an hour. So I'm just heading back through Barnes, up to Roehampton, along onto the A3, down into uh, Hampshire. Takes about an hour, hopefully. Oh, what a day, what a day. As I said earlier, been in the office since seven o'clock this morning. It is now 10 past six. But I think I got a bit lazy over the last couple of years. Leaving my home at eight o'clock, getting to my office at nine o'clock or not half nine is just not acceptable. You know, yes, yes, the office is open and I am the boss, but I need to be there before everyone and I need to stay there until everyone is gone as well. And I feel better today. Got there two hours before anyone else turned up. I am gonna keep doing it. Especially now it's summer, it's lighter in the morning. I automatically, as soon as that sun sunrise comes up, I'm awake, straight away. Brush my teeth, clothes on, in the car, bang, up to London. But yes, it has been pretty stressful. We've got lots of dramas um, circulating at the moment. Lots of mega, mega good stuff, but we've got some dramas. We've got some problems we've got to get rid of. We've got some dead wood we've got to chop. And um, it's just everyone not everyone, but some people who get attracted into my life are after one thing, an opportunity to stitch me up to make money off the back of me. They're not interested in a long-term relationship like they always say they are. Oh, Nick, we're gonna make sure you're gonna be all right. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna help you do this. We're gonna take you to the next level. Rubbish, 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 rubbish. You know? I want to see the best in everyone. I'm very entrepreneurial. I'm a born salesperson, so I'm, I tend to be susceptible for people selling to me. But on the downside, they could be, could be giving me a load of bullshit. So, today, three estimates have gone out. We've already got some feedback um, from a client, the interior designer, so that's what happens. Um, Tomorrow is another day, and tomorrow I'm going to be back in the office at 7 a.m. So, see ya. Six a.m. and off we go. Everyone else.
house is tucked up in bed. And um, hopefully I'm gonna get on the road before anyone wakes up. Anyone who says this is too much doesn't understand the enormity of the internet and the social media space. It's a massive space. A small 2% of the industry, and I'm making a lot of money off that 2%, but I should have known everyone. On top of that, I had to overcome this delusion that I could focus on one industry, learning new languages. I wasn't the big shot in these areas anymore. I was nobody, nobody knew me again. It reminded me how small and how dumb I've been. Not now, but then. So traffic is come to a gridlock, just coming into Barnes. And um, I'm only literally one mile away from the office, but I guess I left a little bit later today and the traffic was a little bit heavier and I've caught the school run. Bang, right in the middle of Barnes. Um, Will is heading to the Cotswolds this morning to meet the client. Um, hopefully we can sort out the problems there. Um, and the problems are, we need to renegotiate the contract, which is gonna be a little bit tricky. Um, prices have gone up. Also, uh, the QS who estimated the job going back seven months ago didn't do a great job it's as if he's valued it just to get his money and he's disappeared um so we need to go to the client explain the situation and uh see if we can find some common ground so we can move forward i know the the subcontractor in uh cotswolds he's itching to move forward the project has slowed down a little bit because of cash flow obviously with with live projects cash feeds the beast it moves the project forward and without cash flow the project grinds to a halt so uh, i'll be getting an update from will a bit later on um this afternoon at four o'clock we've got Lois, the interior designer coming in, she wants to come and meet us, see our office, see our setup, and hopefully that's gonna be a start of a new relationship with her. It seems like she's got some great opportunities already. She's given us three to price up, two in Clapham, one um, just outside London. So again, relationships are vital. New relationships are really important because if you aren't getting yourself out there, if you're not creating content, if you're not being seen, if you're not being heard, you will die a death.
I'm out the cage, gotta let out the beast. Revolutionary guy, let out the streets. Locked in a cage, I'ma let out the let out the let out the wake up, get out the sheets. We came for one man, forget my peace. You take the west, I'll take on the east. I'ma put him in a cage, never let out the let out the let out the yeah. I hear him chat to the noise, move too quick, can't stop for the talking. I hear him chat with the boys, not so tough, but man's keep talking, yeah. Just too sharp with the prize, white girls, let her tell me I'm awesome, yeah. Hot like fire on the pan, if you wanna touch me, please use caution. Beg, please get on your knees, came from the jungle, up in the trees. I got a few tricks up in the sleeve, run, run, move, I'ma let out the, let out the, let out the. Big shoes, check out the crease, blow like I'm Bigfoot, step on the beat. Make a man's run till he step out the cleats, when the whole place scream, gotta get out the, get out the. caution. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. Yeah, I hear him chat to the noise. Can't stop for the talking. I hear him chat with the boys. My eyes keep walking, yeah. Just too sharp with the prize. Let the girl tell me I'm awesome, yeah. Hot like fire on a pine. If you wanna touch my please shoes, caution. to be open but that window is closed 
So just to give you a little update what's been happening today, uh, we've had two cracking new projects in. One of them is a basement, side return, kitchen extension, loft conversion, pod room, and full refurb. So we've already discussed potential numbers with the client, and I think it's gonna come in around about 800K plus the VAT. He's gonna be increasing the square footage by at least 1,500 square feet. So that's doubling the size of the property. So he's extremely happy with that. He's been in the property a number of years, so he's bought it for a nice figure, and this should put a nice lot of profit margin on the house. Obviously, it's got to go through the planning process. So I've introduced Will O'Brien to the client and his fees are roughly circa 20K. That gets you planning, design, construction drawings, all the surveys which need to be done as well, the, um, the, the, the flood risk assessments and so on and so forth. So Fingers crossed that'll be coming our way. Uh, on another project as well, I'm just going onto my uh, monday.com board. Um, one came in uh, late last night, and that one is from an architect who we are already working with on Beaufort Street. So he's given us another one, and this is in Montague Place in, I think it's in the city. I've done a little Google Maps and I've had a look. It's a lovely Georgian five-story terrace house. And this is gonna have a double rear extension and a full refurb. And I know for a fact, these guys are so into their detail. The scope works, the tender pack is like 150 pages. So we're gonna to have to send that to the QS and then we're gonna to have to go over each and every line item to make it sure it's perfect. Um, and also I've picked up another little car for the company to use so we've got one for um, the construction boys which is that smart little black car which has been logoed up and I bought uh, a little Fiat 500 for myself to drive around during the day this is a hybrid so it's black it's a special edition do you know what it goes quite quickly and for 50 quid I put 50 quid of a fuel in there and it was gave me 400 miles so uh, it's not rocket science, is it? The rangey, I put 50 quid in a day and it gets me less than 100 miles. So guess what? I'm gonna be driving this during the day not to blow some money. But don't forget to like, subscribe and share and I'll see you all next week. Thank you. Thank you.